screen mirror, iPhone and Mac connected by a USB cable using QuickTime Player. This video will show how to transmit, project, that is mirror, the screen on your iPhone to the screen of an Apple Mac computer using QuickTime Player. QuickTime Player for screen mirroring, iPhone to Mac. In this video, I am using an iPhone 7 with iOS 15.8 and an Apple iMac computer, Hi Sierra 10.13.6. The iPhone and the Mac are connected by a USB cable. The instructions here are step by step so that you can follow along. First, connect your iPhone to your Mac using a USB cable. Next, open the QuickTime Player application on your Mac. QuickTime Player. Once you are in QuickTime Player, go to File, then click New Movie Recording. A window will pop up after you click New Movie Recording and then look for the control panel. The control panel will have a red dot. On the right of the, control, of the red dot is an inverted carrot. It looks like a tiny little V. Click that little V and you will open up an option menu with three sections. At the top is camera, in the middle is microphone, and then the last section is quality. Go to the first section at the top for camera and click iPhone. Once you click iPhone, it will connect your iPhone screen to your Apple desktop, specifically the QuickTime player new movie recording window. That's what I've done here. Once that is set up, everything that you do on your iPhone will be seen on the computer. To demonstrate, I will show you a YouTube video. So I've opened up YouTube. I'm going to hit play. So right now, on my iPhone, the YouTube video is playing in Ocean View, the Pacific Beach in San Diego, and it's transmitting into QuickTime Player. Now, as this is running, I will discuss the other, um, other considerations here. Now, when you look at the control panel, there's a red dot. Right now, this is not recording. It is merely transmitting signals from my iPhone to uh, my Apple Mac computer. So if you go back to the inverted carrot, look for the red dot, and you click that, the first option is camera. You click the iPhone, and that's going to transmit the iPhone signal. The next option is microphone. Here is if you want to use the microphone on your Macintosh computer, you click internal microphone. Also notice on the left side of the red dot, there is a speaker icon. You want to mute that, go all the way to the left. When you do this, what you're what you're seeing here is uh, a setup where the microphone of your Macintosh computer is fed into uh, the QuickTime Movie Recorder. An alternative is to use the iPhone audio. Go back to the red dot, click the inverted carrot, the little V symbol to the right of the red dot. Go to the microphone section in the middle and then click iPhone. Now the 
speaker icon to the left of the red dot, you have two options. You can leave it on mute or you can turn it on. Either way, if, once you hit the red dot and start recording, it will capture the audio from the iPhone. But the purpose of turning up the speaker is so that you can also hear, hear it also. So right now, let's see. Okay, so this is, so that's the option with the um, iPhone audio. Now, if you want to record, right now this is not recording, it is simply sending signal from the iPhone to the, uh, to the Mac computer. Now, if you want to hit record, this red dot, once you have everything configured the way that you like, you click the red dot and it will actually record the screen on your on your uh, iPhone. Now let's say you want to demonstrate your something on the iPhone. Let's say you're trying to create a how-to video uh, on your iPhone like I'm doing right now. You can actually do a screen recording of the whole desktop of this mirroring session. So let's leave this alone so it's it's going right now. So what you do here is go to if you want to record the whole screen, go to QuickTime Player, File, and then you're going to click New Screen Recording. It's the third option. So the first option is New Movie Recording, and the third option at the top is New Screen Recording. And that's what you're going to click. Once you hit Record, it's going to record the whole screen, including the screen mirroring session that you have. And that's what I'm doing right now. Now, as a final comment, final thing here, is right now this is a vertical version of the of my iPhone. But what if I want to do a if I want to flip it from vertical portrait mode to horizontal landscape? I'm going to show you. All you have to do is flip your iPhone. So there you go. And what it does there. Once you flip your iPhone, it will automatically flip the screen on your iPhone.